Chapter 1 Paradise, Pennsylvania Timothy Fisher approached his parents' home with a feeling of dread. Goodbyes never came easy, and knowing Mom disapproved of his decision to move to Kentucky made this goodbye even harder. He stepped onto his parents' porch and turned, trying to memorize the scene before him. He liked the rolling hills and rich, fertile land here in Pennsylvania. As much as he hated to admit it, he did have a few misgivings about this move. He would miss working with Dad in the fields, and just thinking about the aroma of Mom's sticky buns made his mouth water. But it was time for a change, and Christian County, Kentucky, seemed like the place to go. After all, his twin brother Titus and half-brother Samuel were doing quite well in Kentucky. He just hoped things would work out for him, too. Shrugging his thoughts aside, Timothy opened the back door and stepped inside. Mom and Dad were sitting at the kitchen table, drinking coffee and eating sticky buns. Guter Marie, he said with a smile, trying to ignore his throbbing headache. Morning, Dad motioned to the coffee pot on the stove. Help yourself to a cup of coffee. Oh, and don't forget some of these, he added, pushing the plate of sticky buns to the end of the table. I'll get the coffee for you. Mom started to rise from her seat, but Timothy shook his head. I can get the coffee, Mom, but I can't stay long because I have some last-minute packing to do. Just wanted to see if there's anything either of you needs me to do before I leave. Tears welled in Mom's brown eyes. Oh, Timothy, I really wish you weren't going. Isn't there anything we can do to make you stay? Timothy poured himself a cup of coffee and took a seat at the table. I've made up my mind about this, Mom. Samuel's gotten really busy working for Alan Walters, and he's finding a lot of paint jobs on his own, so he has enough work to hire me. But you had work right here, helping your dad and painting for Zack. I realize that. But Dad's already hired someone else to work the fields, and Zack has other people working for him. Timothy blew on his coffee and took a sip. Besides, I'm not moving to Kentucky because I need a job. I'm moving to save my marriage. Save your marriage? Mom's eyebrows furrowed. If you ask me, taking Hannah away from her ma'am is more likely to ruin your marriage than save it. Hannah and Sally are very close, and Hannah's bound to resent you for separating them. Calm down, Fanny. Dad's thick gray eyebrows pulled together as he placed his hand on Mom's arm. You're getting yourself all worked up, and it's not good for your health. Her face flamed. There's nothing wrong with my health, Abraham. Ja, well, you may be healthy right now. But with you getting so riled about Timothy moving, your blood pressure's likely to go up. He gave her arm a little pat. Besides, if he thinks it's best for them to move to Kentucky, then we should accept that and give him our blessing. Mom's chin quivered. But we've already lost two sons to Kentucky. And if Timothy goes too, you never can tell who might be next. At the rate things are going... Our whole family will be living in Kentucky, and we'll be here, all alone. Timothy's gaze went to the ceiling. You're exaggerating, Mom. No one else has even mentioned moving to Kentucky. That's right, Dad agreed. They're all involved in their businesses, most have their own homes, and everyone seems pretty well settled right here. I thought Titus and Samuel were settled too, but they ran off to Kentucky and now they've talked Timothy into moving. Mom sniffed, and Timothy knew she was struggling not to cry. They didn't talk me into moving, Timothy said, rubbing his forehead. I made the decision myself because I'm sick of Hannah clinging to her ma'am and ignoring me, he huffed. I'm hoping things will be better between us once we get moved and settled into a place of our own. Hannah will need a bit of time to adjust, of course, 
But once she does, I'm sure she'll see that the move was a good thing. He smiled at Mom, hoping to reassure her. After we get a place of our own, you and Dad can come visit us. Please, Mom. It would mean a lot to know you understand my need to do this. Mom sighed. If you're determined to go, I guess I can't stop you. But I don't have to like it. Timothy smiled when Dad gave him a wink. Mom would eventually come to grips with the move, especially when she saw how much happier he and Hannah would be. He just hoped Hannah would see that, too. Hannah stood at the kitchen sink, hands shaking and eyes brimming with tears. She could hardly believe her husband was making them move to Kentucky. She couldn't stand the thought of leaving her family, especially Mom. Hannah and her mother had always been close, but Timothy was jealous of the time they spent together. He wanted her all to himself. That's why he'd decided they should move to Kentucky. She wished she could convince Timothy to change his mind, but he wouldn't budge. She sniffed and swiped at the tears running down her cheeks. It's not fair. I shouldn't be forced to move from my home that I love to a place I'm sure I will hate. I can't believe my own husband is putting me through this. Hannah jumped when the back door banged shut. She grabbed a dish towel and quickly dried her tears. If it was Timothy, she couldn't let him know she'd been crying. It would only cause another disagreement like the one they'd had earlier this morning, and they sure didn't need any more of those. Timothy didn't like it when she cried, and had often accused her of using her tears to get what she wanted. When Hannah was sure all traces of tears were gone, she turned and was surprised to see her mother standing near the kitchen table. Hannah breathed a sigh of relief. Oh, Mom, it's you. I'm so glad it's not Timothy. Are you okay? Your eyes look red and puffy. Mom's pale blue eyes revealed the depth of her concern. Hannah swallowed a couple of times, unsure of her voice. I... I don't want to move. Just the thought of it makes me feel ill. I want to stay right here in Lancaster County. Mom stepped up to Hannah and gathered her into her arms. I wish you didn't have to move either. But Timothy's your husband, which means your place is with him. She gently patted Hannah's back. Your dad and I will miss you, but we'll come to visit as soon as you get settled in. But that probably won't be for some time. Hannah nearly choked on the sob rising in her throat. We'll be staying with Timothy's brother Samuel until we get a place of our own, and I... I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I understand your concerns. From what you've told me, Samuel has a lot on his hands. Having four kinner to raise and all, he'll no doubt appreciate your help. Hannah stiffened. Do you think Samuel will expect me to watch the children while he's at work? Maybe. It would mean he wouldn't have to pay anyone else to watch them, unless, of course, he decides to pay you. It's my understanding that Esther Byler's been watching them, but I suppose that could change with me living there. Mom pulled out a chair at the table and took a seat. You'll just have to wait and see. But hopefully, it'll all work out. Hannah wasn't sure about that. She hadn't planned on taking care of four more children. Moving to a strange place and being around people she isn't used to seeing will be difficult for Mindy. My little girl is going to need my attention more than ever. That's true. It will be an adjustment. But Mindy's young, and I'm sure she'll quickly adapt to her new surroundings, Mom said. Hannah sighed. She didn't think anything about their move to Kentucky would work. And to be honest, she hoped it wouldn't. Because if things went badly, Timothy might see the light and move back to Pennsylvania, where they belonged.